back to all in as I train for hopefully a crack at sub 220 at Manchester, or if not, at least a crack at that this year. Um, last week was 80 miles, week one was 80 miles, so the block has started well. Today I've started off Monday with nine miles on the trails, so it's an undulating route and I've done it steady. Um, yesterday was easy, what was it, easy seven miles, very nice and relaxed. So as the legs feel decent, take, make the most of that and run a little bit steadier. I'd call this like the upper end of easy, so it's still easy miles, it's below LT1. Really good aerobic benefit from it, but hopefully it shouldn't tire me out too much. I think I averaged 620 a mile or something close to that and about 151 heart rate. I actually eased off on the downhills not to beat the quads up too much because I've got double threshold tomorrow. Um, but yeah, really nice start to the week. Happy with that. Again, last week I didn't do any strength. So that is one thing I have to include this week. Um, but other than that, things are ticking along nicely. So yeah, um, happy with that run on the trails. Wore the New Balance 1080, so wore a bit of a lighter shoe compared to the New Balance More V4 that I've been wearing, which is more like an easy recovery day shoe. So it felt a little bit steadier in a lighter shoe, but no plate, no super foam. So really happy with that average pace on the trails. It's Tuesday, it's double threshold, and today I've come to the gym to do my threshold. Just finished up. Um, I love using the treadmill for threshold sessions because it's a controlled environment. You can use the same treadmill, put it on the same speed, in the same environment, and yeah, it just means that you're not gonna get carried away, you're not gonna go too fast, you know exactly what uh, you did last time, so you can just replicate it, and hopefully, if you feel as good and if you're not holding too much fatigue, you get a very similar result. Uh, I haven't been to the gym though, I've done a treadmill session for a month, so wasn't quite sure what pace to do it at, so went with the same pace I did last time, but last time I couldn't get on my treadmill, the treadmill I like to use, they've got a really premium one there, which I think is like £30,000, and then they've got like six or seven just normal ones, but I like to get on the premium one, it's one of those slatted treadmills, it feels much more like running outside and I feel like it's a lot more accurate as well. The, the motor's really powerful, it goes really fast. I don't need it to go fast for threshold, but yeah, it's just a better machine all round. So yeah, I got on that one today and I set the speed to 17 and a half kilometers an hour, which is 326 a K, 531 a mile. Um, so about marathon effort, marathon pace, um, or at least PB marathon pace. And it felt a little harder than I was expecting. Um, I had my heart rate strap on and I can see my heart rate on the treadmill and it was creeping up a little bit higher than I would have liked. Not not much in it, but just maybe I would have liked um, my heart rate to peak a little less for each rep. Um, I found it really hot. I don't know if that's because I haven't been running on the treadmill. I think I acclimated to the heat a little bit by doing so much treadmill and using the sauna uh, over over the autumn. But today I haven't used it for a month and I felt boiling. Either that or they've pumped the heating up in there because it's really cold outside, I'm not sure. But I was absolutely dripping with sweat, felt really hot and the effort felt slightly harder than it should have. Um, perhaps maybe the fatigue from the steady run yesterday and the increase in volume over the last couple of weeks. I'm not sure. But anyway, really good session. Lactate was a little bit high, came in at 3.1 I think it was. So I would have liked it closer to like two and a half or just under three, but not, you know, I'm still getting a threshold benefit. It just means that I've put a little bit more fatigue into the legs than I would have liked um, compared with if I just controlled it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, a good session banked. I will do minute reps later. Got manic uh, evening, uh, dropping Alice to brownies, Arthur to football training, then picking them both up from that. So I will get my reps done quite late tonight, I think. Um, but I do really want to just fit it in and not make any excuses. Uh, so even if I get out late, uh, 8 or 9 o'clock, uh, if I can get it done, I'll be very happy to bank another double threshold day. The thing I was going to say about treadmill running, one of my tips is not to worry too much about the actual pace. Think of a treadmill as speed. Um, as I said, it's a controlled environment, so just compare the speed that you're running reps at to the speed you run at the next time. So I always write down what speed I was on the treadmill, um, so I can always compare that, rather than worrying, oh, why is my watch giving me silly paces? That's what, not what the treadmill said. The treadmill's never going to be accurate anyway. It's not running outside. All treadmills vary. Um, then 
nearly always badly calibrated. So the actual pace of the treadmill doesn't really matter. Just think of it as speed. It doesn't matter what the, your watch is really saying. Just think, what speed am I going this time? Let's try and go that speed or a little bit faster next time to keep it controlled. And I can compare heart rate or lactate or whatever you're comparing or even just perceived effort. But yeah, that's how I use the treadmill. I do put the stride pod on so I get some data um, and I've calibrated it so it gives me similar data off the stride pod as to the speed of the treadmill, but that doesn't really matter. It's just so I've got something on Strava, um, logging the miles. I'm more interested in my lactate at the end and my heart rate for the reps. But yeah, a good morning banked and a nice week so far. Double threshold done. I've just squeezed in the session while Arthur's at football training and it was 16 times a minute off 30 seconds recovery. Again, I could have gone to 20 probably, but didn't want to risk it, especially the way I kind of not struggled this morning, but didn't feel as smooth or as fresh. Um, so yeah, 16 reps. Lactate was 3.4, so bang on where I wanted it. Um, felt controlled. Average was five minute per mile, dead on. Um, I think one rep, one way was slightly uphill and one way was slightly downhill because some were coming in the 450s and then others in the low fives. But average at exactly five, felt good. Felt a lot better actually tonight than I did on the treadmill earlier. But yeah, happy to bank the double threshold. And uh, yeah, it was a really short run. I think it was only like 45 minutes. A short warm up, short cool down, 16 reps, short recoveries, but I've just about squeezed it in. Arthur's just coming over from football training now. So yeah, a decent day. Uh, tomorrow is just going to be really, really easy. I'm not even sure if I'll run. If I do, it'll be a short run on the trails and I'll do some steady stuff on the bike. But yeah, I'm happy with the way the week started. Bring on, I don't know, tomorrow? So it's Thursday morning. Yesterday, I took my first rest day of the block and I don't think I needed a rest day. I wanted to run and I wanted to cycle, but I decided to be really like cautious and smart. I've had two two and a half weeks without a rest day i thought i'll have a rest day now i can get through another two and a half weeks without any niggles or anything and without overly getting fatigued then i'll be happy with that so i took a rest day hated it hate rest days but probably necessary but what i did do in the evening is binge on so much chocolate and crisps i don't know what was wrong with me i don't know why i did it and i woke up this morning with a really really upset stomach um cramping horrible um, when I binge, I get really bad bloating and I shouldn't do it and I need to be more disciplined. Anyway, today was my steady 10 miles. As same as last week, I was looking for zone two, looking for that focused, steady running, but below my LT1. So it ended up being, I stopped at eight miles. I did eight miles and then took my lactate. It averaged about 6.03. Didn't feel as smooth as last week probably because of the binge last night, but lactate was 1.3, so really low, lower than last week. Happy with that. I was actually hoping to get my lactate up a little bit higher, work a little bit harder, um, but I just didn't feel as smooth as last week. And then I decided after taking my lactate to do the last two miles a little bit harder to try and push to that sort of marathon effort. I think I actually pushed a little bit harder than marathon effort. Um, averaged 540 a mile, so not as quick as I would have liked. And the lactate after that was 3.1, so it really did jump up in those two miles without that much of an increase in effort or pace. My heart rate seemed a little bit higher today, and I don't know if that's because of the rest day yesterday. Normally when I'm carrying a lot of fatigue and my glycogen's more depleted, my heart rate can be slightly suppressed. Um, and I noticed that in my training. I always have higher heart rates after rest days or when I haven't been training very hard. So that could have been a factor. But um, I use heart rate as a guide, but I know the feelings of different intensities. So I knew that that steady intensity was about right. And then the lactate sort of just backs that up, which is a nice, uh, a nice thing to have at the end of a run to sort of like reassure me that I was getting the intensity right. But I, I know what steady feels like. I knew the heart rate looked high but it wasn't a hard effort and the lactate just sort of um, proved that I guess but yeah happy with that 10 miles uh, 558 in total because eight miles steady two miles pushing and uh, yeah nice 10 miles banked before run club later it's freezing out today absolutely freezing um, but I don't mind that at those steady intensities because you do keep warm it's just standing out here now filming is uh, very cold so I'm gonna go indoors
It's a lovely sunny but cold Friday morning. I've just been out for 10 miles on the trails. Um, yesterday's club run was cancelled. Kelly is on antibiotics, wasn't feeling so well. And I just felt felt really tired to be honest. My legs felt really heavy and I just didn't have a club session in me. Plus a few other cancellations meant numbers were going to be low. So club run was cancelled, which meant yesterday was just one run. And today I've just done 10 miles, nice and easy on the trails, listening to a podcast, really enjoyable. It's beautiful out there today. And yeah, I will either do a ride or another run later, try and keep the volume up. And then we've got the long one on the weekend. Very little to report this evening, six miles easy on the roads, very relaxed, low heart rate, tired legs, long run tomorrow. Loads of food tonight. I think, what are we having? Um, mine's gone blank. We're eating loads of food, basically. So I guess that's the first rubbish run of the block, really. Um, I'm not disappointed. It's just always nice for things to get a plan and today's run wasn't a plan. Uh, I decided to do, I was gonna do 20 miles steady on the roads. Um, so week one, I did 16 uh, on the trails, easy. Last week I did 18 steady on the trails. So I was hoping to run 20 steady on the roads, which would have been about a similar time to last week's run a little bit longer. And wasn't gonna push, but wanted to just clip along. But my legs were so dead, there was nothing in them. I know fatigue's been building, but today I really noticed it. I couldn't get my heart rate up. It was just so low. And even when I was trying to pick it up, just trying to force myself to run a bit steadier, there was just nothing in the legs at all. I was even fueling. I had a soft flask with maltodextrin, um, but it didn't help. Uh, nothing was safe for my legs today. I was just really flat and had nothing in them. So I called it at 12 miles, 12 miles steady, but not really the run I wanted, but it's okay. Uh, 12 weeks until Manchester, loads of time, loads of long runs to go, but today's just wasn't ideal. But that's how marathon training goes. Sometimes your legs play ball and other times the fatigue will catch up with you. So that ended up being my week. Not the week I was hoping for, but a decent week. Um, just not quite the 80 miles I would have liked. So it was 63 miles in total, which is just over 100 kilometers and just over seven hours of running. I did do a bike session on the Sunday. As I promised at the end of the last vlog, I did a VO2 max session on the bike. And I'm not sure if this will translate, but it's an experiment. I'm doing the hard VO2 max session each week on the bike and seeing if that translates at all because I'm not doing very much VO2 max work in my running at the moment. Uh, when I do VO2 max stuff running, I pick up niggles and that reduces my volume even more. Uh, so as I'm building my volume, I'm only going to sprinkle in the VO2 max work in the running, but I want to see what happens if I do it on the bike. Will it improve my stroke volume? Will it uh, hold my VO2 max where I want it? My VO2 max doesn't need to improve over this block. If I can sustain it where it is, that's great. Um, that'll allow me to move my thresholds into the right place to hopefully run marathon pace at 220 pace. So yeah, we also shall see how the cycling goes. I was holding 340 watts or something for the four minute reps with four minutes steady recoveries. And also I love the mental aspect of pushing really hard. And when I'm not doing much pushing in my running, it's nice to just empty myself on the bike because uh, you don't seem to pick up niggles from going on the bike. It hasn't got the pounding, it hasn't got the, uh, the wear and tear on the tendons, etc. So yeah, um, I do enjoy the bike and I want to do more of it, but the one, if I only get one ride done a week, then I'll make it that hard ride. As for why I didn't get the volume in of my running, I haven't really got any excuses. I was really tired and just didn't get the volume I wanted in. Uh, you've got to remember there's more to life than running and there's lots going on in my life and it all adds up. So yeah, it's not the week I wanted. I need to sort it out. If I'm gonna run to sub 220, 60 miles a week for me, I know isn't enough. I've done that before, it's not enough. If you do the same thing again, I'll get the same results. So I have to pull pull my socks up and get out there and bank a bit more running. But yeah, no excuses. That's just what it is this week and we shall go again next week. Thanks to everyone who's following along and supporting this. I love all the engagement in the comments. Uh, if you do like it, give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed and all that stuff. Never really ask people to like and subscribe anymore. If you do like it, then hopefully you'll follow along and if you don't, then there's plenty of other content out there. Yeah, so we go into next week and hopefully we can build back after this and um, yeah, just uh, really get stuck into this marathon block. 
It's going to take a lot of work. I am nowhere near 220 shape at the moment, but I fully believe if I commit in all aspects of my life, get the discipline with the food, get the volume up, then I've got a chance. So follow along, see where I go, and see you next week.